Greetings everyone, this is Spiker88, and as you notice, I have a new microphone. Now I made this video here just to let you know what's going on, and to sort of let you know that I have a microphone, if you didn't hear. But let me start off, seriously. So you might be wondering what's happened to my direct capture videos that I have been doing so much of. You know? Well, here's what's happened to that, and here's why you haven't seen a new Soundfix video since the Honda HSV one or anything else. What has happened is that my multi-output port on the PlayStation 3, you know, I think that's been around since the PlayStation 1, and it's basically where you plug in your standard definition stuff. Um, it was sort of what you use with your PlayStation 2 when you connect it to your TV and your RC games and stuff. Anyhow, what's happened on there is that it appears to have gone out and it didn't just go out all at once, it's just sort of been slowly eking and creeping there. You know, for a while I thought it was just the PVR, because, you know, and I made a video, too, showing the problem where it would be on, the screen would cut off, the screen would cut back on. And I thought it was a PVR at first, because when we gave it that update, everything went fine. And it was like, oh, okay, so it was just that. And I, you know, and this entire time I thought it was it, but... What it really is was the multi output. And how I found that out was I tried it on my sister's PS3 with the HD PVR and the program. And holy crap, it worked perfect. Absolutely perfect. You know, the picture showed up, you know, I instantly recognized it. So that's when I found out it was my PS3, not the HD PVR, as I had been harshly criticizing. So, that's now left me in a situation where I am unsure if I should send it off to be fixed, if that even is possible for anyone to fix that port, or to get a new one. Which, to be honest, I kind of dread, because there's no PS2 compatibility, and yes, there's PS2 titles on the PlayStation Store, I know someone's going to mention that, but let's be honest, they're all PlayStation specific. They're not, you know, multi-release games. like. Total Immersion Racing, Cart Fury, so basically that's why I dread that. So anyway, that's the situation on the direct capture videos. So here's the other stuff. Uh, you might have remembered me specifically mentioning that I was going to do an Online Morons 2 video for my F1 2012 uh, footage, like I did with F1 2011. Well, I managed to record videos for it, but here's a problem. Uh, whereas the F1 2011 video had enough compatible footage for Vegas, this one, not so much. Like, I would record, but most of the videos I recorded from F1 2012, they weren't compatible with Vegas. And this, this is one of the little strange and odd perks of the HDP VR, is that sometimes it will record a video with both audio and video channel, and you can do that. And then sometimes it doesn't. You'll either get a video that has just audio, but no video. Or you'll get a video that has video, but no audio. So I've had an issue with that. And then the program I had that I used to convert things, you know, videos and stuff like that, that stopped working. So I've had to use the alternate program, which while it works, it's slower. You can't convert as many videos as you want. And it takes a much longer time. You know, and then you might tell me, well, I'll find another one. Well, I've tried. Those are the only two I could find that where I didn't have to sign up to be a member or I didn't have to pay a ridiculous fee for it. So unfortunately, slow is what I'm going to have to do. And quite frankly, I don't have the money to upgrade to a premium whatever. So that's basically all I work with. Now, whenever that's done converting all those videos, I will make that... Of course, that video is going to take a long time to publish because I know that format's going to be huge. But yeah, I'll be coming up with that sometime soon. Uh, another important one I want to bring up, though, is my State Fair video. You might remember last year that I did a Texas State Fair video with that auto show there. And had all the cars and things like that. I'm doing that again this year. Well, I did that again this year. And... The difference between last year's, that was done with my JVC Vario, whereas this year's was done with my Samsung Stratosphere smartphone. 
and that was because I found out immediately that the picture quality on there is even better than my JVC Camaro. And even the video quality is better. Now, even the aspect ratio, which the great thing is, I didn't have to do much adjusting with that. So, it's gonna look pretty good when I put it in there and when I make the whole thing. Now, and a little bonus for this year's is that you're gonna see me on a, you know, a motion sim rig. And that's pretty cool, because I always sort of find to be on those. So, it was cool to be on that. And I do an absolute full lap in that whole thing, and uh, it'll, just, it'll just be cool. I'll just uh, let you see that in the video. So, uh, so look out for that one. I guess before I go, thank you guys for all the comments and compliments on the GT Music videos. I don't know if any of you, if you already haven't seen them, go check those out. And just to make it easier, I have made a playlist with uh, all those videos there, so you can just see all five of them in one. You know, continuous motion there. Now for mobile users, I do have to warn you, three of those videos will not show up on mobile because YouTube has blocked them because of copyright crap and all that jazz. But, you know, you just go to that playlist and you can watch them. Also, watch my Gran Turismo Tribute Remastered. You know, it took a lot of work on that. And unfortunately, I couldn't use all the exact source material because Obviously, some of it wasn't available in HD, but anyhow, there it is. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty much all this is for in this video. And uh, if you have the time, go check out my PDGTF4 video. I uh, have taken that from uh, my friend there. He's obviously sort of disgruntled to make the videos anymore, but uh, I've gotten it back. So, you can go check that out for, non, for your non racing stuff there if you just want YouTube poops and other stuff there. And I'm going to also make a similar video with my mic on there. Anyhow, see you guys later, and uh, happy holidays.